Hey guys, this is Project EA here with a quick video. Um, thought I'd do an unboxing of a kit I recently acquired. The full action um, plastic model kit saber from the Fate's Day Night property um, by Kota Bikia. Um Man, I've been doing a lot of Kota Bikia kits lately. I don't know, maybe I'm converting. Nah, Bandai has too much of my money for that. Maybe. Um, <laughs> but um, I wasn't originally going to do this video, but after I checked it out a little bit beforehand, um, I thought it was very worth an unboxing at the real least. I may actually do a small mini-series on this uh, kit, maybe work in progress or something. But um, at the very least, I thought it was very worth um, pointing out. This kit is very, as far as the style of uh the way it's constructed and the way you put together, um, I, I'm under the impression that it's very similar to the Kotobukiya Hoi Hoi San series. Um, I don't have any of the Hoi Hoi San actual uh, kits, but I do have the Oboro um, motorcycle kit. I haven't put that together yet, but uh, even f compared to that, this actually seems uh, quite a bit different. Um, but that's not a bad thing. But so we'll do a quick check out. Uh, box is just like any other Bandai uh, box, just like uh, Bandai has uh, a certain format they usually use on all their boxes and stuff. Kodobi Kid does the same thing. Um, see some of the features, you know, accessories, other features, um, like the changeable faces uh, and different eye expressions and so forth. And of course, a picture of a sample unbuilt one, which is actually quite impressive um, and not too bad actually. Then, of course, some information support stuff. Uh, you can check out the Kotobukiya support website as well if you want to order stuff or just check out anything. Very, very basic, but effective. All right. Got your manual here. Fairly thick. Um, considering this kit is, um, from my impressions, it's maybe about 144th, maybe taller, maybe shorter, a little bit, but not by much. All right, nice photo here. Nice photo spread on the back. Um, it's definitely an SD style, but it's not like a traditional SD format. Kind of similar to the um, D style that Kota has been doing. Have a color guide, we have a original character based on the original character design, you know, non-SD. Um, we have, let's see, decal guides, yes, because of course they give you plenty of decals. Um, and um, Water slide instructions because they're not stickers, they're not dry rub. Um, they are um, actual water slides. Very pro of them. See a big map out of all the pieces. Not too many. Not too many. Uh, let's see. If you live in an area where you can get a hold of, you can use the gut. You can use this one if you need a specific a um, specific runner for broken pieces or missing pieces. Then, of course, we get to the main part of the instruction. Um, not too difficult, actually fairly basic. But from the way that's constructed, I'm seeing a lot of um, ball joints, non-polycap, just like a lot of the um, Kotobukiya kits have been doing lately. A lot of friction-based, um, very tight-looking, it looks. Um, a little few bits of polycaps. Um, pretty straightforward, looks very articulated, looks, looks pretty good. All right, so that's enough of that. Pa, what we got here? We have, as you can see, I already checked the look at it. Already, I had to confirm because when I saw it, I was actually kind of surprised. Um, we have the water slides here. Yes, that is actually the water slide for the whole entire sheath. Um, I know that's very large, but imagine like pulling that off and then actually trying to make sure it adheres perfectly. But the fact that they actually put it in is very nice. Um, it's not. It's flat colors, so it's not gold directly, but it's still very nice, very intricate. You got your eyelashes, you got your eyes, your mouth, you got the top part of the sheath, um, designs for the um, glyphs looking symbols on uh, for sabers on her um, chest plate. So, very cool. Alright. Let's see. First runner up. K runner. We have her sword. Um. We have Excalibur in both the uh, assemble, uh, both the full um, exposed version, which uh, looks very nice, has a nice good gold paint on it. Then we have, of course, clear version, which uh, she predominantly uses because she doesn't like to show off 
mask or sword unless uh, she's using uh, it at its uh, full power, I guess. Um, and yes, I did a six Excalibur, so um, Saber is actually a representation of King Arthur. Yeah. But uh, for that, you should check out the series, which of course is very worth a watch. And this is actually already fully painted. It, you still have to assemble it slightly, but um, the detail on, detail on this so far is it's pretty immaculate. It's it's pretty awesome, actually. So um, that's really, really cool that they did that. Let's see a few other pieces. Um, small, tiny pieces, different shades of blue for the ribbon, the standard blue for the rest of the blue parts on her, the clothing, with gold trim, which um, at this distance doesn't look too bad. It's not perfect, but I'm, I mean, if I'm analyzing like way, way up close, it looks like it definitely needs work. But um, that's because I'm a perfectionist, <laughs> even though I don't do perfectionist level work. Funny how that is, right? Um, oh, here we go. That's can we can we see that? Uh, focus. Damn the clear plastic. Oh, you can kind of see it. The design on the chest is there as well. Um, although, and this is fairly nicely painted silver or steel, I guess. But um, unfortunately, um, I'm seeing some plastic flash and stuff like that, so chances are, if this is, a lot of the kit looks like this, I'll probably do, um, some metalizer steel, buffer it, so it gives a nice sheen, and then do the decals after a gloss coat or something. But the fact that they even put it in there is, um, pretty awesome. More armor parts. Oh, ah, that's nasty. It's nasty flash. Um, but I I know that happens with Code of the Kia sometimes. Ugh. The big parts with the flash are really, really um, ugly. Um, yeah, I most likely will sand a little bit and definitely um, do a little spray job for this, a little paint treatment. Um, we got face parts, um, hair, and um, the offset white. I thought it was actually white. Um, if it's not white, I will make it white for some of the cloth pieces. The hair, blonde, I'll either matte coat or maybe I might do a two-tone a two treatment for the hair. Maybe. Um, some auburn, some blonde, and then some lighter, yeah, auburn brown kind of colors, I guess, for highlighting. Looks nicely sculpted. Then, let's see, we got some more armor pieces, a lot of intricate hand parts, uh, nice detail, a lot of hands, very cool. Um, I still see, well, this one isn't so, ah, it's, oh, it's only open partly. It's like, who's been opening my kits? <laughs> Besides me, um, I don't see so much flash here, but I still see enough. Enough that I'll definitely paint all the armor pieces, definitely. Some duplicate runners, which um, Bandai's been doing as of lately as well. Black parts, blue parts. More painted parts, very cool. Skirt parts, skirt armor, I guess, the cloth underneath. Very nice. Good trim on these, definitely. Um, a very small thing of poly caps. Very, very small. I'm probably not gonna even have to use all this. A giant neck joint here. I'm pretty, I'm fairly certain. And then of course the scary, scary doll face looking thing. Ah. Oh. Um, actually, there's more. It's double. Um, to change out with different faces. Um, open mouth or closed. But they also paint these as well. So unless you're painting it, um, this kit really actually really doesn't require you to do much. And ah, uh, that's kind of creepy. Um, but it does have its intended effect, I think. Uh, get on there. That's kind of interesting. Hmm, that's effective. Um, I'm probably more worried about painting the insides. Ah, uh, depending. I might matte coat this though. And then gloss coat over the eyes. And then, of course, the shoulder bits, which also have trim. So, very cool. Um, so, oi. Oh. Oi. So, all of that madness becomes this. Or, ah, camera. Technical difficulties of some sort. Oi. Stabilize. All right, there we go. All of that becomes... Where do we have it? Ah, 
I didn't even close my manual properly, did I? Ah, there we go. Becomes this. So something to definitely look forward to. Um, yeah, I think I'm. I think I am gonna start a series on this. But if I don't, for some reason, maybe because of the backlog mountain I have right now, um, I want to at least show um, how awesome and how much work uh, Kota Piki has put into this kit. So um, that's it for this video. So. I will see you guys at the next video. Alright, bye.